What's good, everybody? You guys, I know it is late as I don't know what tonight, but we got this thing on and popping. I got up out of bed to shoot this show. You got I was out of in, bed? Yeah, I was in bed. I mean, you was you said you was gonna be ready. I'm waiting on you. You talking about you gotta do your hair, you gotta do your 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 lashes. I just say, you know, I get tired, you know. I like to do my seven o'clocks. These late night, I mean this Oh yeah, we got in a big argument tonight because I got ready for two hours for the show, and then he was like I don't want to shoot tonight. Mm -mm. This ain't a That's late night show. That's how it happened. Yes, it is. That's how it happened. Look, this ain't like one of them late night shows where you do the 12 o'clock uh, a.m. and all that. Nah, my shows are like 7 p.m. And I'm a night owl, so we are on different schedules. So, so you guys, she hit me up and said, look, I got all ready. You better come down to the studio and do this shoot. And uh, I really didn't have no choice. So here we go. We doing this thing. So today we are going to be talking about the top 20 legal side hustles to earn you guys more cash. My name is Hummy Phillips. And I'm Renee Bax Santiago, and we're here tonight talking about legal side hustles, way to get money legally. Yeah, 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 buddy. So, do any of you guys have any idea of maybe number one? What do you guys think is maybe the number one way legally to make some extra cash on the side? Let us know, and we're going to let you know what we got. So... What are some things that you guys have done to earn money on the side? Have you ever done anything on the side to earn money before we go over the top 20 things? Well, Kayla, Kayla, uh, Kayla, you are on to something here. You said Uber. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. That's the number one thing. Okay, we'll just start. Let, we'll just start. The number one thing to do to earn money as a side hustle is driving. Yes, and when so, we talk about driving, we're talking about Uber. Uber we're talking Eats, about Lyft, Uber Eats, Lyft, Lyft, Grubhub. Uh, what's the one? DoorDash, DoorDash, DoorDash. Uh, Amazon Flex. They even have a program where you can deliver their packages, and uh, that's pretty cool because you can choose anywhere from four hours block of time to eight hours. And you kind of work around your schedule. You go to work when you want to go to work. And the pay is actually pretty good. I heard you can make like anywhere from $20 to $30 an hour depending on the day and the time and the kind of route you get. So, I mean. Can you can you do like a two-hour block? Like, let's say. No, I think it's got to be a minimum of four-hour block. So, I think you got to. Does gotta, anyone know? Can you do a two-hour block if you do like well, what I DoorDash did, or Uber or anything? I don't know about Door, I mean, Uber, you probably can, because Uber, you can turn the app off whenever you're ready to stop. You turn the app on, they're going to tell you who needs to get picked up, you go pick them up, and then when you're done, I guess you just turn it off and you're done. Have you ever tried it? No, I've been wanting to, but at the same time, I feel, I'm a little leery about having strangers in my car. Yeah, because wasn't there someone in Arizona that got, like, their neck slit? What? Yeah, I read about it. Oh. Oh my god. They were doing they were Ubering and then somebody came in the car and they like slit their neck and killed them. It was terrible. Man, you just know how to kill it for everybody. Jeez. Oh um, Hi BB. I did Thank you. I did hear about a scam where people were trying to like pretend to be a Uber driver and like kidnap you basically. So like you really gotta like Make sure that you're matching up your license plate and the type of car you're getting into because there's this thing going on where people are really trying to kidnap, like for the sex trafficking trade, you know, it's crazy. I'll, I'll tell you this, I I ordered an Uber one night oh, a snap. couple years ago. Here we go. And 
there was this big white van that came. And I was like, forget it. I was so scared to get in that van. You didn't get in it? I didn't get in it. I just docked and just Did hid. it look like one of them serial killer type of vans? <laughs> I just hid and I didn't even like... You hid? Like, I hid. Like, they were like, we're what here. What you hiding for? I'm sure that they don't, I don't think they know what you look like. They were like, we're here to get you. And I was like... Oh my goodness. Yeah. So you ordered the Uber and then you hid from the Uber? I hid from the Uber because it looked creepy. It was a big white van and I was alone. Yeah, but don't they show you the vehicle before you even... Ex like confirm the order. No. They, they show you the they, kind of no, car. No, no, they said it's a license. They said this license plate is coming to get you. That's what they said. Oh, he was coming to get you. All right. <laughs> well, Renee is still alive because she decided not to get in that van. Girls, if you guys see a crazy big green, blue, or just shady white looking van pull up talking about I'm your Uber, don't even do it. Do not get into that car. Oh, and then you know what was weird? McDonald's gave coupons lately. They're like, you can get $5 off if you mm -hmm. use Uber Eats. Has anybody ever tried that yet? How did that work? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I heard if you use the, the McDonald's app that they are all giving you free coupons to basically use the, what is it, the DoorDash or whatever? Yeah. Is that Uber who Eats. delivers? No, Uber Eats is with McDonald's. Oh, Uber Eats are the ones that do, do the delivery for that? Yeah. Okay. So All right, so uh, has anybody ever tried to get money driving? Yeah, let us know if you guys are doing Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, or Grubhub. Because who was the, the girl who said something about that, that you can get paid by the day? Like, you can get paid the same day that you actually do the job. Didn't yeah, you? you can do that. Yeah. that you, well, like, you can, like, cash out, I heard. Yeah, so you can go do the job, and then you can get cashed out right. that same day. Right. So if you guys are looking for, like, money that the same day... You know, let's say something came up and you need to go buy an outfit for the kids' uh, field trip or whatever. You can jump on one of these apps, go go to work, and get paid the same day. You, I mean, that's pretty good, right? Right. Um, so, number two legal side hustle way to get money is, can you try to take guess? Number two? A survey. Hmm? Huh? Has anyone went online and taken a survey? Uh, I ain't got the patience for it. The number two place where you can make money on the side for a legal side hustle is Survey Junkie. You can take medication surveys. You can play games and get money. So basically, number two is surveys. Is it? So uh, have you ever taken a survey online for heck money? Heck no. Heck no. That's too much. I can't be doing all that. Sitting there going through. I mean, some people got that patience. I don't. I actually like Andrew's idea. Andrew said, buy interesting items on Facebook Marketplace and flip it for twice the profit on eBay. Mm -hmm. You are on well, the that's, that was Yeah, that's one of the That things. is actually one of ours, but it's... Flip it, basically. Buy yeah. a car for this amount, flip it for twice the amount, fix it up a little bit, flip it, buy, uh -huh. you know, buy something at Goodwill or a and Sale, right. clean it up, like especially, get it ready, flip it. Yeah. yeah, especially in the summer or the spring, people got those Roman sales. You know, it's a good idea sometimes to just see what's going on. Some of these people have old, like, baseball cars, Pokemon cars. Yeah. Things that are worth money that either they just don't care, don't know the value. And you can turn around and flip that for on eBay or Amazon and, and make some money. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's a good idea, Andrew. Yeah, good idea. Flip it. I think that was on our list, so I'll have to cross that out. But number two was surveys. Number three way to get money, dog or animal sitting. What? Yeah. So, I actually, like, you yeah. know, somebody needs a dog sitter. They're going to, we to a wedding or something like that. Like my daughter the other night. Um, somebody is going out of the country for a couple weeks. Right. And they need someone to watch their dog or their cat. I dog actually, sitting is actually yeah, number I, I, three. It's a big, it's a big money maker actually. If you're not allergic to animals like me, but otherwise, it is a pretty big money maker. I know somebody who actually runs a business. Um, they do that for a living. They're a cat sitter actually, and uh, I guess around the holidays is their busiest time of the year because that's when people go on vacation. So, like, around uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, they need someone to watch their, their animal, their, you know, cat, dog, whatever. And that is a, the busiest time of their year. They make their most money during those times of year. So, yeah, if you are good with animals or you like to walk dogs or whatever, 
Yeah, animal sitting, animal dog walker or dog walker, whatever, is a good idea. Um. Oh, you can even get pl paid to just play with dogs. It said. Really. Yeah. Play. There's like a pay to play with dogs website. Huh. You get paid to play. You get paid to play. Okay, you guys. If you guys like animals and you just adore them, why not get paid for it? Go to this place, play with the animals, and you know, feel good about yourself and let the animals help you feel better because they're they're pretty um like therapeutic, right? Like yeah. little puppies and stuff. And then you guys if are you're actually not Yeah, if you're not like Renee. Because if Renee go do that, she's gonna be playing with them. Next thing you know, she's gonna get the cough and sneezing, tearing up. Asthma terrible, attack. Terrible animal allergies. It's just going to be an ugly day. So if you're not allergic, take advantage of that. <clears throat> what else we got? All right. Number four, credit card rewards. Hmm. You mean like mileages and whatnot? Yeah. So, you know, if you're using, you know, another way to make money is buying certain credit cards that have rewards with things that you use frequently. So, okay. you know, if it's like like a Barnes and Noble credit card, like a credit card, like a Visa, mm -hmm. but you get Barnes and Noble points because you know you spend a lot of money at Barnes and Noble, that might be a way to get extra money. True. So you're spending it anyway with your card, so basically a credit card reward. I actually had, um, with my Best Buy card, I would get points for my purchases. So... I could actually buy stuff, you know, and, and I was running a business, you know, drop shipping. So for everything I bought, which was for resale, I was actually getting points for buying it. Mm -hmm. So I could buy something else and resell that. So, you know, that was a, a, a awesome rewards for me because I was just getting more and more items I can like get for free after I hit the points and then sell it and get paid so right so it's really like a nice side hustle because you could gain money with just using your credit well, card well not only that but some of these places have the mileage and you can fly and some people sell their points right you can sell your your, your mileage your, your, your mileage points yeah right. and be you know sell to somebody that needs a vacation and get paid cash or whatever so. right um number 5 is pretty popping right now as a way to make money renting out a room things like airbnb travelers oh, yeah. so if you're traveling a lot yes. um, you may either want to rent a bnb or if you're trying to make that money is, uh, and you have an extra room you yeah. might want to rent it out to a traveler and you know what i actually really vouch for this because if you're that type of person looking to invest and you have a little cash or good credit instead of getting to the renting game and then you got to deal with your tenants and evict and all that why don't you think about getting to airbnb uh, airbnb is around this time of year will actually be a good idea because you know when people are traveling they don't want to stay at a hotel they rather stay at a house sleep in a regular bed have a barbecue grill or stove or fridge wait I wouldn't. I would rather stay at a hotel. No, 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 no. I stayed in Airbnbs, and, and the, the experience is amazing. I was able well, What do you to, mean? You're just in people's houses. They yeah. don't even know. Well, they're not there. I mean, they, they you know, are renting it to you, and it's they're always... Not there. Are, they, are they always not there, or is there sometimes when they're there? I mean, I've been to Airbnbs where they have such a big place, like a mansion, that they're being on one side of it. But everyone was always nice. Everyone was always friendly. Uh, these places have like Wi-Fi. They have all the streaming devices, Netflix, Amazon. Um, they've always looked nice. And the experience is just so much more like you feel at home versus a hotel where you're in a small little room and you don't have a stove. You can't cook. You can't grill. You just don't, can't do the things you can do if you're staying in a house. So, and Airbnbs are getting popular. And with me being on the railroad, I actually stayed in an Airbnb quite a few times because, you know, as a railroader, you move around quite a bit. And the Airbnb felt like home. Never had a bad experience. Um, so I would very much suggest if you guys are thinking about investing in a property, turn it into an Airbnb and rent it out to people by the week, by the two weeks. 
I think you would actually, I think it'd be less hassle than renting to a one tenant who just might do an Airbnb. Like yeah, just do an Airbnb. I mean, instead of someone tearing your place up or not paying rent on time, yeah. you can make more money by the week as an Airbnb than you can just renting it out by the month. Yeah. So think about Airbnb.com. Thank you, Linda, for the compliment. Hi, nice to see you're on. Um, Airbnb, okay. <clears throat> Number six way to make money as a side hustle is selling stuff, kind of like the flipping thing we talked about earlier. Selling stuff on eBay, drop shipping stuff, rummages, uh, Facebook rummage sales, selling on Amazon, basically just selling stuff online. Now, back in the day, I used to feel a lot more comfortable selling things back on, in the day how old well, are you <laughs> back what? in the day <laughs> in my years <laughs> jeez i'm saying like about 10 years ago okay. i never had like a really big issue with selling stuff online like in fact when i was in nursing school i think one month i sold stuff online for my rent money and okay what did you sell and where did you sell it? You know, different things that Craigslist, I had. Craigslist, up, Craigslist, go. stuff like that. Amazon. No, I don't know if they Amazon was really big back then. But I know I sold a lot. I sold my <laughs> whole, like, when I was moving to Superior when I before I left for the railroad, I sold, like, everything in my house on Craigslist, let go, and offer up. Like I was able to. Did you get good like good prices for that stuff though? It was fair. I mean, you gotta understand. I was getting out of there, and I didn't want to take nothing with me. Last thing I want to do is move all my stuff seven hours away. So I was like, you know what? As long as I get a fair price, I'm good. And I wasn't even there. My mom actually met him <coughs> and helped me See, sell it. See, that's what I'm concerned about. That's what I was saying. Like I think back in the day when I did it, mm -hmm. I wasn't as scared to meet up with people. To sell items you know now I'm nervous like I'd want to like bring you with or someone with me right I wouldn't want to just go meet someone in a parking lot well, alone yeah, with a watch that I'm selling or something like that I mean you know yeah, I, I mean there could be some shady people or, I personally never had an experience where I felt like it was like that but you know you hear about crazy lit Craigslist horror stories or something let go vv said let go that's yeah let go one. is awesome mm -hmm. um offer up is another one so and craigslist has been around a long time and craigslist is free so i mean yeah selling on craigslist offer up and let go and getting that stuff from a goodwill or roman cell right could be an easy way to and a lot of people just got stuff laying around their house. They don't use anymore. Yeah, like I have lots of like attic. watches now that I'm all, all on just my Apple Watch. Exactly. Like I have all these watches to sell. Anybody want to buy watches? I have like 30 watches to sell. You got a lot of earrings and stuff too. I got, I'm not selling any earrings. What? Okay, well. No. I'm just trying to help you get your side hustle on. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Meeting up at a police station, Vivi, that's a really good idea. Like, if you're going to sell the stuff, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to oh, sell I, the watches. Yeah. I'm going to say, hey, meet me at the police station to do the transaction. Either that or a lot of people just say, meet me at a public place in a Walmart parking lot or somewhere public, you know. I think I the police, not, police station would be a lot more safer. Yeah, but I definitely would not recommend giving someone your address saying, here, come to my house. No, I wouldn't do that. Unless it's a big item like a couch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I ain't gonna pack my couch up and meet somebody at the, at the police station. You know, they got to come get that. Yeah. So, then, you know, you just got to be careful. But other than that, I would definitely recommend being careful with who you meet and maybe having someone with you in case something gets a little crazy. Number seven was baking. Hmm? Baking, cooking, basically cooking food. You know, I've been seeing that a lot on Facebook yeah, lately. Yeah, lots people, of people cooking. My, my cousin. Selling, selling plates. Right, um, my cousin. Fundraisers. Um, it's a good side hustle, too. You know, you can buy a bunch of food and then sell it for twice the amount. Buy a bunch of desserts, sell it for twice the amount. Um, so there is a lot of money in baking. Well, apparently. yeah. My, my, I don't typically bake a lot. My cousin, as I've been trying to say... Don Cornelius, uh, Corn Coulion, you know, you might have heard of his, his uh, what do they call them, Big Boss Fries or Boss Fries. We went there one day and you bought, what, yeah. is, what was that that you bought, the shrimp? The, the and... Boss Fries, they come with, he put shrimp in it, he put chili in it, he put, dang, steak was in it. 
and it was just like amazing. So I'm like, man, like, is this what you're doing? And you were said, really full after that. Yeah, it was good. And this dude is making money just barbecuing and selling plates. And I've been seeing a lot of people on Facebook lately, you know, posting their posts saying, hey, I'm cooking this this week. I'm cooking that. And they're making some, some good side money. We should make some food on Raw Topic uh -huh. and sell it. And who gonna come get our food? What what we gonna make? Some uh, what? what should we make, guys? Some fortune cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. That can go very bad. <clears throat> Kayla said, "If anyone needs dessert, um, she's your girl." Yes. Oh gosh, my daughter made a just a beautiful amount of desserts last night for a wedding, and she does. Um, Baking on the side with beautiful wedding desserts. If anyone wants to have her cater your desserts, which are beautiful, she can send you example pictures. Please just hit up Kayla Jade, which is my daughter. She does that also as a side hustle, and she's actually phenomenal with yeah, it. Yeah, she just did that wedding uh, the other day, yesterday, right? Yeah. And her food was off the chain. I mean, people were killing her desserts. Uh, they were... I feel like they were just like, just they were all gone almost by the time they were all out. Oh, yeah. She, uh, she's she got some skills. Some so skills. I some mad skills. Good deal. So she should actually start like selling on, on Facebook as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, she is. She you is. know, selling yeah. some desserts and all that good stuff. Okay. Number eight. What we got? Teaching. Mm -hmm. So if it's something that you know that I might not know, for example, if you know a foreign language. Which I do. Let's say you know Spanish or mm -hmm. Arabic or Oh, yeah. Whatever. Assalamu alaikum, sister. See? See? You got to say alaikum assalam, man. Whatever. <laughs> Let's say you know a foreign language. I don't know. If, did you, do you really know a foreign language? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. You're supposed to say alaikum assalam. <laughs> you know, we're starting. Anyways. Or, Rosetta if you Stone. Know, you can learn all this on Rosetta Stone. Okay. If you have a language you know. You can teach it online for extra money, or true. you can teach it at a college, true, or you can true, teach true. it as a tutor. She ain't lying. And so, she ain't lying. knowing another language is also good side hustle money. Mm hmm. You know, Spanish. Como se llama? You supposed to say bien. Muy bien, you do? Oh, okay. Now you just lost me. So, <laughs> okay, number nine. Number nine, get this. This is really cool. A notary public. Mm -hmm. What? A notary public. Okay, now how do you make so money? So apparently, most states charge a hundred dollars okay. to be a notary a notary public. Okay. Yeah. You know how like you need you need stuff notarized. Well, I need stuff notarized all the time. Like for example, they're like you have this has yeah. to be a notarized copy, right? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. So. What if like the bank is closed? No, I was going to Okay. The bank. What if the bank is the closed bank. and you need a notary? You can be a notary uh -huh. for like $100 in most states. And how much are you going to get paid for this? And this Ugh. man was talking about how he made $1,500 to $2,000 a month. What? Being a notary public. Oh, my goodness. Has That's anybody a... heard of that? Is anybody out here watching, making money as a notary? Let me know how much y'all making. Because if this is... Thank you, Carrie. If this is something that's, you know, making money like that, I won't have to get in on that racket. Like, Notary really. Pu Why don't we try to do this? Notary Public. Sounds we, good. We could try, but, you know. <clears throat> okay, number 10. Wouldn't this be fun to be a mystery shopper? No, you heard about this for years. I've always heard about this. But it's still but going on. But how the heck do you get in it's it? It's still going on. What the heck do they even do? You go on this mystery shopper page. Uh-huh. And let's say they need you to go to... A restaurant right. or a grocery store. And do what? You pretend like you're the customer and you see how your service is and you rate it. Oh, so you telling me I can go eat for free at a restaurant just because I'm a mystery shopper and I can be like, yeah, I'm just going to... You can't tell anyone you're a mystery shopper. Uh-huh. But how much can you get paid to do it? Though? You can apparently get paid fairly well. Actually, I don't even need to get paid that Sometimes much. Sometimes 50 to to $100 even per... Mystery shopper. As long as I'm. If you guys see us, yeah, in the grocery stores, we could be a mystery shopper. I mean, think about it though. As long as I'm getting 
pay like to eat free and getting free stuff at the grocery stores and stuff, I don't really need to get paid. I'll be good with just <clears throat> being able to eat free. Go out to eat every once in a while. You know what I mean? Right, but you're critiquing them. You're like the mystery, you know, like, did you ever see in the restaurants, they have mystery people going in to eat and stuff like that? Yeah. To critique the food? Yeah. Well, they pay people to do that. You can go online and you could actually become one of those people. Why don't we start, like, going to restaurants and reviewing them? Like, a live raw topic at a certain restaurant... And reviewing their food live on the spot. I don't know. That's I think it's okay to do that, right? We should challenge the restaurant and be like, look, you think your food is so good? Let us go live and let you know what we think about it on oh, our topic. What do you think about that? Yeah, but that could make or break their business. What if it's really, really good? Oh, That's wait. great. You had like, what if it's really, really bad? Well, you had like we Regis and Kathy Lee. Ain't, ain't nobody will listen to us anyway. If I say it's bad, you think people care what I think? <laughs> People still will be eating, you know what I'm saying? They might, can you think? I'm just saying, it'll be a way to get me a free meal for the day, so you know what I'm saying? Number 11, the 11th way to make money. Okay, hit me. Contests. Okay, how the heck are you going to make money with that? <clears throat> Did you ever hear of Publishers Clearinghouse? Oh, $10,000 yeah. prizes here, yes. prizes there. I signed my daughter up for one when she was little, and she was able to go... Um, at mm -hmm. the kickoff at the Packer game for mm -hmm. free in the middle. Yeah. And we all got tickets. The whole family got tickets. She kicked it? No, she was in the middle of the Packer game. And like in the middle on the field? On the field. Like they had security walk her up. Remember that, Kayla? But what did she do? She was like there during kickoff. I can't remember exactly how it went down, but... Uh-huh. Okay. Do you remember, Kayla? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but contests. Contests. All right. So you can... These contests that, you know, these magazines have, Red Book, um, you know, mm -hmm. Cosmo, they always have, like, win $10,000. People really win these. You, yeah. But you can't win if you don't play. When's the last time you Actually, heard about somebody winning? Well, it was just clear enough. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's an old school lottery, you know I mean? <clears throat> it's like our grandma's grandma won that, like, back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't hear about nobody winning that no more. I think they used to come to your door with balloons and everything. <laughs> like this is the publisher's clearhouse, you know what I mean? And they like did everybody just pass away or something? I mean, where is publisher's clearhouse? I mean, did they get so old and they just fell off or what? I think the, I think the last the last employee of publisher's clearhouse like passed away already. I mean, what the hell? That is a very <coughs> oh sorry my car. This is a very old thing, you know. But it is still <clears throat> up and running, by the way. Wow. I looked it up. It's still up and running. Kudos. Publishers Clearinghouse is Kudos still Kudos to you, Publishers Clearinghouse, because y'all have been giving you know away what? money Can for, someone find out for us if they're just, really still giving away money? Just tell me, who was the last person? If anybody can find out who the last person that won a dime, I would be, like, amazed. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard that name in forever. Does anyone know if Publishers Clearinghouse is still going on? What she said, I got... <laughs> Oh, Kayla said she got to grab the tea at the pack. What was it? A Packers game? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. that's what it was. That's what it was. All right. They had her like on security though. They had no one could go out there but her. Oh, really? Mm hmm That is, and you guys won that, huh? Yeah. So, okay. Where are we at? You screwed me all up. Okay. Let's Number get twelve. Let's get back on Number track. twelve. We're back on track. Remember, we're only sharing twenty things tonight. Tw only, only. I think twenty is enough. Okay, listen. Oh. Guess what number twelve is? A number twelve legal way to make money. Uh, legally. Unused diabetic strips. What? They're, How okay. much is it? So diabetic strips are really, really expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So what do they do with all these diabetic strips for people that die and things like that? And they still have boxes and boxes of diabetic strips, right? Okay. They're paying $30 a box for unopened diabetic strips. Who, wait, who's they? It's called Cash for Diabetes. What? Yes. Is this a, an app? It's a, no, it's a website. Uh -huh. So if you have like old diabetic strips laying around, you got a new meter, they're unopened. If they're unopened... You can... Oh, it has to be sealed? They have to be sealed, obviously. And you can get a check within two to eight days for... So you're telling me, strips. if I got diabetes but I'm broke, I can be like, you know what? I'm just going to sacrifice 
this right here because I need this $30. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Joker yes. came out. No, no. The, the Joker just came out, you guys. And if y'all trying to see the Joker and you ain't got the money and you got diabetes, no, please. No, do not promote that. People need their diabetic strips. What are you doing? Be, I'm, uh, if they got, I'm I, talking about if there's extra diabetic strips uh -huh. left over. But if you can make if money. If somebody dies or something like that, you're not going to be telling people to sell their strips. Come on now. Come Although on, people man. do try. If y'all trying to watch Joker, y'all need to <clears> get some money. Just take a pack of y'all strips that y'all ain't going to be using or opening. No, no, no. Anyways, Whatever. you can get money for those. Okay, now, number 13, taking care of people, life coaching, organizing, basically taking something you do uh -huh. that you like to do. Let's say you like to organize. Right. Making, you ever see all these Instagram pages now with like these organizational gurus and stuff? Yeah. So you like to organize. You like to life coach, you like to motivate people, whatever. Right. You're taking those services that you like to do and now you're getting paid for them. So I like to organize. Like Are you talking about your daughter, Kayla? Like my she, daughter she can organize the heck She can organize stuff. anything. I mean she so came over. She and could actually up have like this is a perfect example. She could have an organization business because she enjoys it. So she's gonna get paid for something she enjoys. Okay. Like what's something you really, really love to do that you'd love to get paid for? Making videos. I would love to get paid making these videos. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Just give me, just give me a dollar. <clears throat> I'd be happy. Just slide, slide a dollar over <clears throat> here. You know what I mean? Because I'm, it's, it's late and I'm tired and I'm up here making this video for y'all. Get y'all please send a brother a He's dollar. He's such a crybaby. But yeah, that's no, what I not like all to the do. time. You're not. Don't take it personal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you. Number fourteen. Wait, I like what I like what Andrew said. Andrew had a nice comment. He said that you can enter yourself in a a, a show like Mad Madhouse, the show I did on the Sci-Fi Channel, and you can win big because there was a hundred thousand dollar winning pot for the contestant of the Mad Madhouse when I did that show. Yeah, like Family Feud and Family stuff like Feud. that. Uh, what's that one show with the one dude? Is they always giving away money? Um, dang, what's that one show? Let's make a deal, I think. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. all that. People still win money. Yeah, apply to a game show. I mean, you never know. I mean, don't think you won't get on it. There's plenty of game shows out here you can apply to. I did the Mad Madhouse, and I auditioned in Chicago, and I went to L.A., and we shot it. So, I mean, it is not impossible. It's if you, not impossible. If you audition, you can get it. So, a game show. We should audition for a game show. We should definitely do a game show. Game shows. If y'all watching... Here you go. Here's your next contestants. Let's do this. Okay. Here, get this one. Okay, what? Renting out your car when you're not using it. <laughs> Let's say you're going to out of the country. Here's another thing, like the dog sitting. Let's say you're going out of the country. Okay. And you're not using your car for three weeks. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. So you could rent your car out to someone for three weeks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's listed now on that one sounds, of the top legal That sounds house. sketchy. Listen, and listen. What the hell was that? But you're oh my car. goodness, you guys, she's falling apart live. What would you do with a brain if you had one? Do? Why, if I had a brain, I could... I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to leave them out. She's been struggling to get this damn earring to stay on her ear, and I told her, just leave it alone. And now you know how you function. No, you like you are here like Beyonce right now. My you functioning on camera, except you just ain't nothing showing. But you you look okay. Well, my earring back just fell out. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> so now you are here bad. You ain't got no earrings. Okay, here, no you want to use my earring? My back is fine. You want to use mine? I'm out here bad with no earrings. Oh, Look, he's got me out here with no earrings now. Oh, I got you. Lord. I told you not to put the earring on. She hard headed, y'all. She don't want to listen. Mm. Well, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, rent out your car while no, you're not using see, it. See, that's okay. I mean, I, I rent out my car. Okay, is is this through some kind of service where you know everybody's address? Is it like an Uber setup where it's like professionally set up? It's safe. You ain't gonna worry about nobody stealing your car. You ain't giving it to Booberry Joe, who ain't never gonna bring it Listen, back. Listen, I just. 
about the info. I don't know the whole mechanism of action of All the right. whole entire process. Well, check this out. You I'll, said you can make money by letting someone care. use your car. I don't care how much listen, money I can about, make. What about if we're, listen, we, what if we could make money while we're at work? Someone can use our car to Uber all day, and then we get part of the profit. You know what? That's a good idea. Like, giving your renting your car out for somebody who wants to do Uber but don't have a car, and they give you like twenty to thirty percent of the Uber profit. Yeah, so It'll they can like, just Uber themselves, and then we get part of the money. We don't even have Uber, to do the Uber. Uber, are you hearing us? We are giving you guys a great idea. It can be called like Uber Buddy Partnership Program. I don't know, but I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I guess if you are, if you got a beater, you guys, I wouldn't recommend putting your Mercedes out there for rent. But if y'all got a beater, something that's something you don't care about. Amazing never, Race for our topic edition. Hilarious. Oh, uh, yes. Amazing Race would be great. That um, is so funny. That would be great. I like that idea, but uh, there ain't no way I can read the map on Amazing Race. My navigation skills is ridiculously whack. I cannot navigate to save my life. And if I'm on an amazing race, I ain't going to know where the heck I'm going. I mean, we're we going to end up somewhere in Italy when we're supposed to be in China. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't going to happen. Look at what Linda said. Sonny and Cher episode. It's hilarious. I got to see an old school Sonny and they Cher had, episode. Sonny and Cher had a, had a Did they have a, a show? A talk show? I didn't even know that. <laughs> you talking about Tina and... and, and uh... Quit calling me Tina and Ike. No, nah, you be acting like Tina, though. No, you always like, I'm the Ike to your Tina. No, because you be all like, you better come and do this show tonight, or I'm done with Raw Topic. And, I, <laughs> and I'm like, look here, Tina, I'll take my name from you. <laughs> True but, story, by the way. Yeah, it's a lot of drama, y'all. But anyway, what's, uh, what's the next one? Um, recycling old phones. Oh, you know what? Gazelle. Is it Gazelle? Yeah, yeah. That's, they don't, you know, I mean, that's, if you really need money, but they really don't give you what the phone is worth. And, like, there's a lot I, of those phone things when you walk into Walmart stuff. Yeah, you put like your you phone put in your there. Phone in and it gives you, like, 10 bucks. They give you, like, 20 they bucks. They give you, like, 10 bucks for an iPhone 7 or something. I mean, you can go on eBay <laughs> and make more money. But if you, I guess if you need phone, like, a, like, money right away, I guess that is a quick cash out. But you definitely can make more money if you put that phone on, like, Craigslist, eBay, Amazon. Yeah, Something like that. Yeah. We're getting down there, guys. Number 16. <clears throat> there is a website called Just Answer. Has anybody used this? <laughs> you get paid to answer questions. I would love that because I love to answer questions. Okay, now how does this work? Apparently, you can answer questions mm -hmm. and get paid for it. It's called Just Answer. Answer for Google who? it. It's called Just Answer. Well, who will you answer They're for? They're asking like specific questions and you can get paid if you answer them really yeah oh you it sounds like you gotta be real smart for this one like i just think you know i can't be like figuring all the questions out like that you know what i mean i'll give people all the wrong answers i'll be just telling them something just to get paid like oh how do you do this and that i'm just gonna make some up just so i can get my money you know what i'm saying <laughs> i have people going to all the wrong places so please be careful with that one. <clears throat> Number 17. We have like four more. Number 17 <clears throat> way to make money. I feel like this episode is just going on and on. No, there's a couple more. <laughs> there's a couple more. We got to share all of them so y'all can make money this week, right? Number 17. You can make money by blogging. Blogging? Like blogging. A blog? Like t writing about <clears throat> your stories, blogs, online blogs, things like that. You can actually get paid for those. Well, yeah, but you can also get paid for vlogging. So, vlogging, blogging, I mean, same thing. It's a blogging is like article writing. I actually mm -hmm. used to have a blog that had thousands, probably a couple thousand articles that were written by me and guest writers. And, uh, yeah, you can get paid because you can put the links to affiliated programs, affiliate programs, and people click on those links, and then they can go buy something because of the, the link you put on there. Right. So, yeah, by having a blog, you can get paid off for advertising on the blog, you know, and, and links and all types of different things you That's can do. That's a good way to make money. So, yeah, good idea. Number 18, babysitting or being a nanny. 
to children, people, elderly. People still do that? People still do that. They get paid to be a babysitter or a nanny. Nice. You can actually get paid really good money to do that. No, that's, that's we should do that on the weekend. Who are we going to babysit? I got my daughter that I still get on the weekend. Then I got my son's granddaughter that... Wait, I, your son's? You mean your granddaughter? Yeah, my my, my, my son's daughter. So I got enough kids. And my granddaughter. Yeah, so I don't know how we're going to have we time. We could babysit for, other kids and get money for it. Yeah, I just don't know how we're going to have the time to do all that. Can I have some of your coffee? Mine's gone. Go ahead. <gasps> it's gone. Exactly. So. Okay, we got two more. Number 19 way to make money. Number Guess 19. Guess what? Hmm. Cleaning houses. Okay, now that sounds like a lot of work right there. A lot of work. No, there are people that make a lot of money cleaning houses. How much can you make cleaning the house? Listen, think? people, I mean, are we you, talking if you deep think, okay, listen, if you think about this closely, let's say there someone's taking a couple hours to clean a house and they're getting a hundred bucks, right? Okay. So a hundred dollars for two hours, right? Okay. So I have known people that can easily make 50, 60 bucks an hour cleaning houses. What? Mm -hmm. 50 to 60 dollars an hour? Yeah, it's true, right? Have any of you ever heard of this? You can actually make really good money cleaning houses. Now, we're talking about like a deep cleaning, like where you got to get on your hands and knees and scrub the floor and all that. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh-uh, I ain't trying to do all that. That's just working way too hard. Uh-uh. <laughs> Number 20, the very last thing to make money. What you got? Sell your artwork on Etsy. So yeah. I bought a lot well, of just, earrings, just a lot artwork, of yeah, craft, any craft. Right, I bought earrings on Etsy. I bought necklaces on Etsy. I bought artwork on Etsy. Etsy is really cool place to buy unique stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's also a unique place to sell your stuff. Like I, I had some pictures that I did back in the day that I put on Etsy. I bet you I still have an account. Well. I feel like anybody who has a crafty mind is you can sell so many different things on Etsy. I mean, you can do like mittens, handmade hats, coats, blankets. Yeah. There's so many creative things that creative people can do to make money on, yeah. on Etsy. And then you can have an account on Etsy and sell it there. And now that you mentioned that, and I'm they, gonna... they, I think they, you know, probably put the money directly into your account and things yeah. like that. So. That's a good idea, but now that you mentioned that, you gave me an idea for another one that we forgot to mention that we're going to... I'm going to give you guys a bonus one, and it's called Flare.com, or Flare, 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 I think it's Flare. F Flare? Should I look? F-L-A-V-E? Let me see. What is that about? I can't even say it right. F but it's a services. Flare? It's a service. It's like a, a service for service. Like, if you need a logo... Or if you need website design or whatever you need, there's people that can hmm. perform. Did you find it? Yeah, Flare Services. How do you spell well, that? There's one on LinkedIn. So are you saying that people can help you yeah. with like your businesses? Yeah, if you need a logo or if you need like a writer to write like a book for you and, or author, whatever. Or like an editor? Can you get an editor Yeah, there? you can get anything. Like they have everything. So... You can make money by like doing graphic design for somebody or just, you know, writing something for somebody, uh, uh, like a business proposal or right. a business plan. Grants, things like that. Business plans are very hard. No one ever wants to do it. So if you are a good writer, you can put together a business plan. Or grants. You can get paid like $400,000 yeah. to do that. And I know even other nurse, pr nurse practitioner professionals that get paid to edit different journal articles mm -hmm. and different journal research, medical research, you can also get paid to do those things as well. Exactly. So, oh, uh, Andrew actually said it right. It's how do you say that? Flare. How do you say that? Oh, see it? fever. Fever. F i v e r r dot com. You guys, however you say that, that is the one. Thanks, uh, Andrew. Thank for, you, Andrew, for saying that correctly. But that is the one I meant. And I got another one for you guys that I cannot. Uh, let go. Um, you guys got to know drop shipping. Drop shipping is a great way to make some side money. And when I say drop shipping, uh, 
I mean, you can go on services like Amazon, buy something real cheap, and then go and sell on eBay for more money. So, and Amazon will actually ship it to the customer uh, for you. So, you don't even have to ever see the item. And there's a lot of drop shipping programs out there that will basically give you a catalog of items that you can sell on eBay or Amazon or wherever you want to sell it. And they will ship that item to the customer and you never have to even look at the item. And so you, you don't have to even deal with that. Yeah, you don't even have to buy it until it sells. So you don't have to spend your money on all this inventory, uh, inventory you know, until it sells on eBay. So for instance, I can buy a camera from the program, the, the dropship program catalog. Once the camera sells on eBay, I then buy it from them at a discounted rate and then you know I mark up the price on eBay and I can make I used to make like a hundred dollars per sale on, on my wow. on the stuff I sold. You could start doing that again. I could start doing that again but and you know start buying me jewelry and stuff. It's a lot of uh work. You're listing start items. Buy me You're, jewelry, more jewelry. Yeah, maybe where's the one I bought you? See you don't even got it on already. I don't See? have the necklace on I ain't buying you nothing else. I ain't buying you nothing else. Mm, but, mm, mm. We're gonna get an episode about this this relationship that we have. Yeah, well, you already promised an episode and they still waiting on that, so. They want that story time episode. They want it and they want it now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys, look into drop shipping uh, programs if you wanna make money that way. So does anybody have any questions for us about any of this stuff before we wrap this episode up? Let us know now. Top 20 ways to make legal if, side hustle money. If you guys know any other ways that Can we Can I missed, sell you? What? Like, like Can how? Can I sell you? You're getting so close right now. <laughs> you're making me nervous. The heck? Oh my God. I got, sorry guys. I got lipstick on them. You're about to make so many girls mad right now. So many. I'm making them mad? Yeah, when you get close like that, like, you know, like. I'm making the girls mad. I told you you can have so five funny. extra girls a week. What? Okay. So I only got one more to go. <laughs> one more to go and I'm good. I got my five. I'm joking, y'all. <clears throat> so, I don't see no questions. So I think everybody is good. Um, if we miss a side hustle that you guys are doing right now, let us know. Do you got anything you want to close with? Any kind of announcements or anything not really okay um no any, not really this week any movies you saw that you wanted to discuss did we see any recently uh no no I think what, we were going, supposed to go see rambo but that didn't work out that well never made it to that one so can't tell you about that we'll one. have to review a movie next week <clears throat> well like i said earlier in the show i do want to go see joker that looks amazing i mean that dude is like Look like he's doing about as good as Heath Ledger when he played the Joker. What is that supposed to be about? The origin of the Joker, like where he came from, how he became the Joker, how it all started. It's uh, supposed to be a really good movie. I think Joaquin Phoenix plays the Joker. Hmm. His performance, they said, was amazing. We so, should go see that. Yeah, what time is it? Do you think we can catch it? It's only 10. Maybe we can catch that late night one, that midnight one or something. I got to get up early for the gym. Oh, okay, well. All right. All right, you guys. I appreciate you guys taking the time out to hang out with us tonight. Thank you so much. I am so sorry we shot so late tonight, but, you know, things happen. I was in bed. I just wanted to go to sleep, and she was taking all day to get ready. So, you know, it is what it is. But we got it done. We got it done. Another Thank episode. you guys for joining us at Raw Topic tonight. We will see you soon. We have a lot of interesting episodes Yeah, what are we up. doing for next week's episode? You got any? Can you remember we, the schedule? I know that we have an upcoming live music episode what? where someone's going to be performing live. A special guest? A special guest. Performing live? Yes. Okay, that's going to be hot. Y'all better prepare for next week's episode of a live performance. I don't know if it's next week. I got to check the planner, oh but it's coming goodness. up. Okay, well, something's going to be next week. So you guys join us for that. And remember, you guys, remember, as always, if you can't keep it real, then you can always come raw. Raw topic. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.
Never forget.